Can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try.
Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out.
If you hadn't come, we'd have been dinner. Here, this is for you.
I'm by the wheel station. Took you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. Quality goods at fair prices, that's me. Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rice sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa, su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next you collect a tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there.
for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. Alright, alright. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon.
Scream, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge, bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't, I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So, clear them out. We get paid for protection. Do 
before more of those fuckers get inside. Anyone here? Just stay still. Maybe he'll go away. Anyone here? Rice sent me. I'm here for a pickup. <laughs> hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You brought the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. Are you Gersel? Oh, you were for Rye's. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more freaking tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Furkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Furkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment, or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Furkin. Give me a break, Kyla. All right, fine. Here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? Well, there was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water.
Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess? I know exactly how they got in. That masked nutjob soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. He's crazy in the head. So he wears a gas mask all the time. Like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the husp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy. stuff anywhere else.
Hey, open up in there. Who are you? Crane, from the tower. I heard a woman screaming. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's my wife. She's, a uh, she's giving birth. Oh, shit. Is there anything I can do? We need alcohol. To disinfect. Please, help us. Alcohol? Uh. Yeah, I've got some alcohol. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be a big help. But, uh, is that all you could find? It's not really enough. I'd go out myself, but I can't leave my wife now. Let me see if I can find some more. Hey, it's Crane. I found some more. Yeah! Great, because we're going through it like water. But, oh, is that it? It's almost enough, but not quite. You must have a lot of germs in there. Oh, with this terrible plague, everything has to be clean. Spotless. I can't risk my newborn getting infected. We must have more alcohol. The disease is actually transferred from a bite that causes... Hey, I've got the alcohol. Everything okay in there? Oh, you got some more? Uh, yeah, here. Oh, cheers. Bye. I could let it go, but I don't think I'm going to. Down to the ground, down to the ground, down to the ground. Of course. Drink away, drink away, drink away, drink away. We'll sell our granny's pencil lift to buy more booze. To buy more booze. To buy more booze. To buy more booze. And the frozen socks 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 and the
Shakur is not taking visitors today. Shakur didn't want visitors. Shakur shouldn't have sabotaged the fence at the fishing camp. What? What are you talking about? That wasn't Shakur. That was Gas Mask Man. Your Gas Mask Man. Me? You're insane. Why would you think that? Because you're wearing a gas mask. But you have been tricked, my friend. This saboteur was an imposter who makes himself to look like me. So you will be angry at Shakur. But Shakur knows who did this. Shakur saw him without his mask. So you're saying you saw someone disguised as you? I watched him from behind the rocks. He did not see Shakur, but Shakur saw him. Well then Shakur better tell me who it is. No. <laughs> My information is far too valuable. If you want to know what Shakur knows, then first you will do a thing for me. Then I will tell you. We're not negotiating, Shakur. Of course not. Shakur tells you what to do, and you must obey. Now, obey Shakur! And what exactly does Shakur want? There's a lake nearby. My treasure bag fell out of the boat, and was lost in the water. You must be like a fish and bring it back to me. Go! Be quick! Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, I've got your bag. Why couldn't you get it for yourself? She could can't swim. Now, first the bag. Then I tell you who is she could and buster. Alright. Okay, Shakur, tell me what you saw. First, the imposter sneaks out of the village. He's very quiet, like a master spy. Then, he puts on a mask. Then, he sneaks back to the gate. But now, he is very noisy, so the guard would see him. Then he cuts the lock and runs away. Did you recognize him? He looked crazy to me. Nothing like Shakur. But do you know who he was? Of course. Is one of the fishermen, the one who's disguised as Shakur. All right, I'll check it out. By the way, Shakur, what was in the bag? My air. My precious, clean air. No, I can breathe again. How many people have keys to open the gate? Just a few. Tom, Gersel, or Musa. Thanks. What can I do for you, Crane? You sabotaged the gate, Gersel. You let the infected into the village. Me? It was the crackpot in the mask. The, the guard saw him. Yeah, but someone else saw you. Who? What is he? Show me. Well, there's also the mask I found in your hut. Yeah, well, what was I supposed to do? The village didn't want to pay tribute to Rice, and Rice was getting impatient. That's why he sent you, right? So you allowed an attack on your own people? I had to convince them that I needed Rice's protection. 
It did the job, didn't it? So what the hell do you care? Now Musa wants to put a bullet in Gas Mask Man. And that's a problem? Yeah, make sure it doesn't happen or you'll be explaining why you allowed Infected into the village. All right, all right. I'll talk to Musa and the guard. All right, Gas Mask Man won't be bothering you anymore. Did you put a bullet in him? No, that wasn't necessary. After what he did? Look, you may not like it, but murdering people is still kind of a big deal. If you decide it isn't, you and me are gonna have some problems. No problems, mister. I just got mad. I never hurt anybody. Thanks for talking to him. Whispers in the dark. I'm here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off, you bloodsuckers. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it gonna take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire? Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it. Aren't you? Okay, Kareem. I made the collection at the ferry station. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. I'm Neil Fallon. I'm a journalist for International Affairs magazine. Yeah, I've heard of you. You have? How the hell'd you get in here? I wasn't so hard during the first few days of the quarantine. And when they put Suleiman in charge, it was pretty clear how things were going to go. So you decided to stick around? Actually, I've decided to leave. Though God knows how that's going to happen. I've been in some lockdown cities before, but there's usually someone you can bribe. Not here. I can't get you out of Haran. I'm not sure anyone can. No, of course. But I've been documenting this place pretty much from day one. I've interviewed hundreds of... Well, people who aren't people anymore. Suleiman has a lot to answer for. The world needs to know what's happened and... Look, I'm kind of desperate here. I've lost my work, all of it. I was holed up at an internet cafe when a mob of infected landed on me. I got out without a bite, but I left my satchel at the cafe. And everything's in the satchel? Most of it. They chased me for a while, so I finally had to ditch my camera in a car. Look, I know it's a lot to ask. Right, even if I recovered them, you still don't have a way out of here. Mister, 
If I can't get my work back, there's no reason for me to get out. Well, that cafe's in a bad area. I'll... I'll think about it, but no promises, okay? What's the matter? That brute Harun threw my sister Ida out of the village. She's a widow with two children, Yasmina and Jamil. They snuck under the fence to go after their mother. Yasmina came back yesterday, but Ida and Jamil are still out there. Please, can you find my sister and nephew and bring them back? I'll do what I can. Where's the girl? In my house. She's hiding from Harun. She thinks he'll throw her out, too. Maybe I'll talk to Haroon. He's not here. Oh. Well, you'd better go find him. I'm looking for Harun. Harun? If a toothache was a man, it would be Harun. If you see him, could you push him into a hole? Can't you see I'm busy? Why'd you force that woman to leave the village? You mean Ida? She's infected. All infected gotta go outside. Is that Gersel's rule? Some people don't want to make the tough calls around here. Well, I did. If Ida didn't want to get thrown out, she shouldn't have let herself get bit. Tough luck. 
bad break. What about her kids? What about them? There's no answers in around here. I was doing them a favor so they wouldn't have to watch us hacking up their mum when she turns into a fucking monster. I'm starting not to like you. Hey, I'm not looking for trouble. You seem like a good guy. Have a nice day, okay? Now go fuck yourself. My conscience is clean. I did the right thing. Copy, what's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but... We can't sugarcoat this crane. We need Anderson right fucking now! Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just... God, just hurry, please! Mina? Hey, I want to help your mom. Can you talk to me? Your mom's in danger. I need to find her. She's gone. She was beaten. 
Harun says you can't be here once you've been beaten. I'm going to get her to a place that has medicine. They won't make her leave. Now can you tell me what happened to you and your brother? Me and Jamil went under the fence to find our mom. It took a while, but we found her at the houses behind the tunnel. Only there was a biter there. He beat me, and my mom hit him on the head. You were bitten? Only a little. I tried to get away. What did your mom do? She put us in a house, and then she went to look for medicine. When she came back, she told Jamil to wait there, and then she took me to the man. Did he give you medicine? Yes. He said we would both need more, but that me and my mom could stay in his basement as his puppets. I don't know what he meant, but my mom got scared and hit him and told me to run. So I did. It's all right, Yasmina. I'll find her. Where does the man live? I'm not sure. It's a house with hammers and, and axes. And where's your brother? Jamil is hiding in the house with the red flowers. You're a brave girl, Yasmina, but I need you to stay here a little longer, okay? And keep away from Harun until I get back. Can you do that? You're really going to find my brother and mom? Yeah, you bet I will. Thank you, mister. <laughs>